to Bite Force, presented by the Danbury Public Library. Our goal in this program is to discover which animal currently living on the planet has the strongest bite in all the animal kingdom. For those who don't remember, bite force is the amount of pressure a jaw can produce when biting down. So far, we've learned that the polar bear has the eighth strongest jaws in the animal kingdom, the gorillas have the seventh strongest, and the bull sharks have the sixth. So who has the fifth most powerful jaws? This week's animal is a member of the feline family. This means they're cats, and they're actually related to our house cat friends. These beautiful, sleek creatures have the strongest bite out of any member of the feline family relative to its size. This week, we're talking about the amazing jaguar. Jaguars are the third largest cats in the world, after the tiger and the lion. In fact, they are the largest cats found in the Americas. Male jaguars can reach lengths of over six feet, not including their tail, and weigh up to 210 pounds. At first glance, jaguars and leopards look pretty much the same. They both have coats covered in rosettes, those round markings on their fur. But if we look closer, we see that jaguars have black dots in the middle of some of their rosettes. Leopards do not have those black dots. Jaguars also have larger, rounder heads and shorter legs than the leopards do. Some jaguars can be melanistic. This means they have an increase of black pigment in their fur. When this happens, their main fur color and their rosette's color are very similar. Jaguars with this coloring are known as black panthers. Today, jaguars can be found in Central and South America, from Mexico to Northern Argentina. Their range, or the distance over which they can be seen, found, and live, once extended all the way up into the southern parts of the United States. By the 1940s, it was very rare to see jaguars in the United States because they've been chased off by hunting, mostly for their fur. There have, though, been recent reportings of jaguar sightings in Arizona in recent years, so they might be making their way back. While jaguars can live in dry climates, they prefer areas with lots of water and lush vegetation. They thrive in rainforests like the Amazon as well as in dense swamplands and wetlands. These areas give them lots of ground cover they need to stalk and hunt their prey. Jaguars have a wicked bite, coming in at 1,500 PSI, or pounds per square inch. That is 150 PSI more than the bull shark, 200 PSI more than the gorilla, and 300 PSI more than the polar bear. Their jaws are powerful enough to pierce a skull and crack a sea turtle shell with ease. These carnivores will hunt everything from frogs, fish, and reptiles up to deer, cows, and other large livestock. Jaguars are solitary creatures. This means they prefer to live alone. Males defend a territory of up to 50 to 55 square miles, marking their space by smell. One way they do this is by peeing on various areas in their territory. This lets other jaguars know that, hmm, this area is taken. I don't want to mess with that guy. But they also do something else. They claw trees. Clawing on trees helps jaguars keep their claws sharp and free of dirt and debris that could cause an infection. It also gives their muscles and ligaments in their paws a nice stretch that keeps them nice and limber so when they go to hunt. But there's something else that clawing does. Jaguars, like all cats, including our house cats, have an interdigital gland that releases a smelly substance when they scratch things. Interdigital means the gland is between the toes of their paws. So it'd be kind of like if we had glands in these areas here. So when a jaguar goes up to claw a tree, their digits are all spread, 
and that makes those glands activate. And when they scratch down, they're leaving that smelly substance behind on the trees. Now, we can't smell it. Our noses aren't good enough, but other jaguars and other animals can. All cats have that interdigital gland, including our house cats. This is why they sometimes like to scratch the sides of our couches and chairs. It's exercising their claws, but it's also them leaving their scent behind to claim and mark their territory. So let's get back to that impressive bite. Last week, we found out that the bull shark's powerful bite came from the wide width of his mouth compared to the overall size of his head. As we learned, with sharks, the wider the mouth, the more powerful the bite. Gorillas and polar bears, meanwhile, had large mandibles, that jaw area, and big sagittal crests on top of their heads. And that's what gave them their wicked bite. So what does a jaguar have going for it? Is it the width of their jaw like the bull shark? Or do they have large mandibles and sagittal crests like the gorilla and the polar bear? The thing is, the jaguar kind of has a combination of both. Their jaws are shorter and wider relative to their weight than other cats. This increases their bite leverage. Helps to improve how much they can bite down but they also have large, wide mandibles and a fairly prominent sagittal crest on the top of their skull, which gives lots of space for large, powerful jaw muscles to attach to. And large jaw muscles translate into a powerful bite. So now we have an animal that has really good leverage for biting down and very powerful muscles going from its mandible all the way up to the back of its head. When hunting, jaguars use their sharp teeth and impressive jaws to their advantage. They attack one of the hardest bones in any mammal's body, the head. What they do is they ambush their prey, sneaking up on it, and then they quickly jump out and grab it right in the back of the head. And remember, these guys have a wicked bite of 1,500 PSI, or pounds per square inch, enough pressure to easily pierce the skull. And they have very long teeth. So this is an extremely quick and extremely effective hunting style, which other cats don't have the ability to do. Now, last week's bull shark was one of the most dangerous sharks to humans. So how does the jaguar measure up? Despite their powerful jaws, jaguars really avoid people. They don't want anything to do with us. Jaguars are what are known as apex predators. This means they have no natural enemies in the wild. There is only one creature on the face of the earth that is dangerous to jaguars, and that's us. As a result, they like to stay away from humans. Jaguars have been hunted for their fur and to keep them away from valuable and vulnerable farm animals. Now luckily, there's usually enough food in the wild to keep a jaguar pretty happy. But sometimes, they wander a little too close to farmlands and are tempted by the very easy hunting that cows and other livestock provide. When this happens, this puts them a little too close to humans. When jaguar attacks on humans happen, it's usually the result of both of us being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Today we've uncovered the fifth strongest jaw in the animal kingdom. Tune in next time as we discover who has the fourth strongest jaw. Until then, stay curious. Bye everyone!